Hello fellow game makers and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna show you how you can create this portal room inside of Unity, so let's get started. First of all I'd like to set the theme of this portal room, so I went to Crystal Bridge and searched for some Roman assets and downloaded them, and the ones I liked I exported to Unity. So I think I used a few, mo a few materials as well as those pillars and those gravestones. I also created a material in Crixel Mixer myself, which is this Roman road. It's also a bit red, so we can get a few night nice reflections out of it, so it's a bit more interesting. Then I went into Unity and opened the package manager and imported Pro Builder and Pro Grids as well as the terrain tools. I also would like to open under Tools, Pro Builder and Pro Builder window and docked it to the side of my scene view. Then for the floor I used a terrain layer so that I could paint multiple, multiple materials so I did not have any tiling or obvious tiling. So we go 3D object and then terrain. I also uh, recolored the directional light to a nice white tint because I don't like the this yellowish tint. And I also moved my terrain into the middle so it's a bit more centered. Can have some nice um, so I have a bit space to work on. Then I opened my my texture paint tab and went to layers and added a few layers. I had those three textures. Those are my own textures and I think I will start with this texture and later when I know where my room is I will paint the textures. But for now I'm just gonna create a new shape which will be just a cube. Click on build, close this window again and move it up so we can see it. And first of all I will apply a material onto it which is pre-generated by ProBuilder which is this gravish material and I'd like to work with it because you can see it a bit better. So let's go ahead and first of all make it a bit bigger. Like that. Move it up and basically you can just do whatever you want right here. It's not really necessary that you do it exactly like I do. But I like the result of mine, so I'm just gonna try and recreate it. And right now you can pretty much start to populate your scene with assets for your portal. And basically you are really free for your portal. The only thing you need is to use a plane as the effect where the portal effect should be on.
basically this setup right here is completely modular you could have also used different assets and different textures and you could have even even make this like sci-fi in a sci-fi look and now you just need a plane like that and rotate it uh, 90 degrees like that and move it to the portal of course make it a lot smaller so that it fits nicely inside of my portal like that maybe make it a bit smaller right there I'm gonna turn off the grid for now so that I can really precisely put it inside of here And now it also kind of nicely integrates into these cracks of the portal right here. Like that. So next, I think I'm gonna do the shader for the portal. So first of all, make sure that you have the latest version of the HDR pre-render pipeline as well as the shader graph installed. And then we can go ahead and create a new shader right here, shader. And then we're guys gonna choose the PBR graph call it something like portal and open it in shader graph. I'm going to choose a quad for the preview. I'm going to go right into the settings right here and choose two sided. Then we can go ahead and build our shader. I will start using a travel node and I'm just going to write a uh, straight ahead going to use properties so that I can modulate the shader later on. So we can make a vector 2 for the offset. I also leave it at the default values. So make it 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Connect it to the center right here and make it to a value. Convert to property and also rename it to offset. Next, I'm going to use a vector one so they can modulate the strength. So again, make it to a property. I hope I spelled that correctly and give it a default value of eight. Again, you can copy the values I give you right here, but you can also really you should experiment around with the values. Maybe you can get some nice results. And now we can go ahead and make the animation. So we're going to use a time node and multiply the time with a vector 1. Which will then be our speed. And we can also default this to a value of 0 0.5. And we can plug this multiply right here into our offset. Now we can plug the output of the troll node into a Voronoi node. Right here. And I'm gonna leave the angle offset as 2. And we're gonna make a new property. Which will then just be our... Um, our cell density and we can default this to a value of 2 like that so the next step would be that we clamp the Voronoi to use as our alpha so let the output go into a clamp node and we're gonna choose the minimum as a vector one, which will then be our new property. And we can call this one, let's call it density. Because it's basically just the density and we can default this to a value of 0 0.5 again, actually 0 0.53. So the maximum is one, that's fine. 
and we can plug the output of this clamp node into our alpha. Then we can again take the output of our Voronoi node and multiply it with a color. So make a new property, just a color node and also make this to a property and I just will default this to a nice purple like that. And that's our color output. But if we would use this like that, it's a bit, it doesn't have much contrast. So I'm just gonna feed this into a contrast node. And again, I would like to have a new value for the contrast. So I'm just gonna use a vector one for the contrast. Um, sorry, let me add a new property. Call this contrast. And default the contrast to 1.9. Like that. And trust me, it will look better if it's actually inside of the world. So, plug the output into the emission. Also, we have to change our surface to transparent, like that. So, now it's looking, it's looking good. And yeah, basically, we click Save Asset now and close the shader graph now. And now we can create a new material, material and call it Portal. And for the shader, we can use under shader graph portal so this shader right here and now we can drag and drop the shader onto our plane right here so after playing around with the settings I find those settings nice and now we can actually make a bit of a ceiling up here so create another cube pull it up here just scale it up doesn't need to be perfect. Turn on the grid again and pull it down so it covers our room. And now we have complete darkness. Perfect. <laughs> and now we can go ahead and first of all turn our directional light so it's pointing a bit more inwards. So grab our directional light and turn it like that. Like that. So now we, if we can go inside, we have this nice, um, nice light going in. We can also create a point light, like that. Drag it inside of here. Make it less intense. Give it the same color as our portal. And now position it so it's inside of our portal. Like that. So now we have some nice emission. Maybe we can also increase the range a bit. And I think that's nice, like that. I also like to point one area light. To let one area light point inside of our room from the outside. Because right now our designs right here you can't read them. But if you just point another area light inside of there, it will be a bit more readable. It shouldn't be strong because otherwise it's not natural anymore. But if we can somehow get this to work, just like that, and also turn down the intensity just a little bit. And also make these Angles right there a bit bigger. Grab those handles and make them a bit bigger. Like that. So now we can read this a bit better better. But this is totally an optional step and also doesn't have to always look good. And now at this stage you can basically go ahead and texture it however you want. This isn't the perfect result, but you can get a something like... But you can get definitely get something like this out of it. Like this. So I just textured the walls and also applied those little curves right here. Um, so yeah, I also textured the ground differently. 
And I also like this light setup, but it can, I use this little directional light right here, uh, the array light right here, so it's a bit more lightened, and I like this. I also created another version in green, so you just have to adjust the portal, and then you have a green version. I also I applied a bit more post-processing, and also I like the texture down here because it's ha it has a bit more, bit more fluid highlight, so the light reflects nicely off it. I hope this tutorial helped you a bit more to understand how I light this scene and how I built it. And I hope to see you next time.